Hello, welcome to Shrimps and Snails. In this video, it's all about baby food. Now, this is vitally important for the growth and development of the young. Uh, there's no point trying to breed shrimp if you can't manage to keep the babies to uh, survive. So, I use baby food quite a lot in the tanks. I probably use it more than I do the adult food because the adults will still eat the baby food. But there's a chance that the babies might not get to the adult food. Now, baby food only comes in pretty much powdered form because then it's dispersed around the tank. Uh, you can do this a couple of ways. You can put it via the spoon that comes in most of the packaging uh, into the water flow, which should help it disperse. Or I have been mixing it in a little pot and uh, mix it in with some RO water and then just uh, squirting it into the tank, which makes a nice little cloud. Uh, yeah, we'll just go to the video of me mixing up some different shrimp foods. Right, so the powdered foods that I use to feed the baby shrimp are glass garden shrimp uh, shrimp baby powder. Comes with a little measuring spoon. There we go. It's a pretty dark powder in there. It's a high quality ingredients inside. And I don't have any problems feeding this to my shrimp all the time. But I'll show you how much I feed in a bit. The only trouble with uh, using powder is that you've got to make sure you put the lid back on. Uh, both lids. Because on occasion I have knocked it over and it's pretty impossible to pick back up afterwards. Then the other thing is uh, back to AE. Uh, again it's a powder, it's a white powder. Let's bring you one. There you go, just show you through the lid. So it's white powder which helps promote growth of the biofilm, which is the shrimp's natural food source. There we go. What I do, I've got a spare empty top. Is I mix ten spoonfuls, approximately of shrimp dinner. Fifteen back to AE. Also, I've got some uh, masura, rich water, which is a uh, concentrated fluvic or fluvic powder. Now this helps with molting and general well-being of the shrimp. It's a very strong smelling product this, it kind of smells like extremely strong coffee, which isn't too bad if you like coffee but I'm not a big fan of it. Again that's a seriously dark product there. And one of those, <clears throat> if my voice doesn't break. Also, beta glucans, which helps to build the immune system of the shrimp. So I'll give them a couple of spoonfuls of that. Put the lid on, shake. There we 
we go. Basically, you can get away feeding just one of these. I mean, the Bacteria AE is a really good product, and so is the Shrimp Baby food. There's also loads of other different ones that I haven't actually got around to trying yet, but I will be trying those at some point. The reason I mix and match, uh, it's just, why not, because I've got them here. I've had no problems with them reacting to each other. At least that way I can put some uh, particular glucans in and a bit more uh, fluffic acid in there. And yeah, I don't get any problems. Right, now the great thing about feeding all this powdered food is that it's going to sit on the top first and then it's going to slowly work its way down. So let me just show you in this tank here. So I'm going to manage that one-handed. Sort of you're staring at the floor at the second. Oh, right. Now depending on how many shrimp you've got, will depend how much food you want to give. Now I tend to feed every couple of days, <coughs> especially if I've got babies in there. So basically, put it in the top, it slowly spreads out over the surface of the uh, water. Now you can mix this with uh, some pure RO water and just uh, squirt it into the water which I'll show you in a minute how to do that. Then slowly, you can see, uh, there you go, little granules slowly slide, uh, floating down. That means everyone in the tank's gonna get a bit of uh, food rather than have to fight for it, which is not particularly brilliant for babies, because then the adults are just gonna fight them off. Now you gotta be careful that you don't feed too much as it can have adverse effects to your water um, but yeah the main goal is for all these tiny little guys here to actually get some food and to grow up if you want your uh, baby survival rate to go up then definitely uh, think about using some powdered foods Right, the other way to do it is to uh, take some tank water or some RO water and put some uh, of the uh, powders inside it, inside a cleaned out plastic bottle and just give it a good double squirt within the tanks. Perhaps if I under the lid, there we go. So I try and do this one handed as a clean bum. There you go. A bit clouding everywhere. And here I need more hands. There you go. Everyone's just going a bit mad right now. I just want to get these bottom ones. my left hand now that's uh, never a good idea but let's find out anyway, see lots of tiny little grains everywhere and that means everyone's gonna get a good feed And yet they still fight. Can't please everyone, can you? Not a surface now. Yeah, he's grabbed hold of a piece of leaf or something there. Yeah. 